What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And here we have another user versus user game in the Mizzou Online Dynasty. I'm going against Syracuse. It's an away game, so it's pretty crucial that I do win this one. After suffering a pretty tough loss to Georgia Tech last week, this week I'm coming back here and I'm coming for respect. I need it all back and I need to get a big dub against Syracuse in order to protect my ranking. At the start of the game, inside this beautiful dome stadium, I go ahead and win the coin toss here. And you already know I want to play some defense, so I kick that ball off to the opponent. Kicking that ball off and Stonehouse got that stone leg as he boots it out of the back of the end zone to get the game started for Missouri. Coming out on offense, his offense was looking pretty decent all game, but right here he almost throws an interception, but I back off with the user. After that risky play, he decided to keep things simple and put it on the ground, but he gets laid out by one of my linebackers. I wanted to make sure that this running back knew that this was going to be a long night. As right here, he comes out past, makes a quick little move, and almost gets that first down. On third and inches, he thought shit was sweet as he goes into the no huddle. And at this point, I already knew this motherfucker was on some different timing. I mean, it's only been a minute in the first quarter. Like, you haven't even ran that many plays yet. How you calling no huddle? What does he see that I don't see? So I audible into a man blitz, making sure that everybody's manned up and lined up. And he motions out a receiver to the left side and then runs the ball. And I stuff him in that backfield for a tackle for loss and a crucial third down stop. Once I got that crucial stop, he had to punt that ball back to me and give the ball to my offense. However, I did not know that this dude was a punt specialist as he got me down all the way on my own three yard line. Starting the offense on my three yard line and the shot of my own goal post, I decided to run that ball, but I get popped. That was a big hit, but I was comfortable passing, so I decided to run again, but I get tackled pretty quickly. Third and seven, under the shadow of my own goalpost, I knew I had to make something happen. So I roll out and throw this dot from hell for the first down, as well as a couple extra yards just to secure it. My tight end actually went off this game, and that crucial third down conversion was just to start. Right here, I hit the curl route on the outside for another first down. I'm getting up this field with bad intentions. It's right here. I decided to run the ball with my halfback, break a tackle, and almost get loose, but I get tackled. This running back is really good, and for the fact that he's only a sophomore, I mean, man, I just can't wait till he develops into a 99 overall when he becomes a senior. Right here, I decided to pass on third down because I didn't do too much on second, and I hit my tight end again to get that first down. That's something that's going to be happening all night if he doesn't stop me. Come out in the read option, and he plays it pretty well, but he ends up diving too early with his D tackle, and I get up that field for a pretty big game. As you can see, my offensive line was fired up. As right here on first and 10, I decided to go with something a little bit more safe, a halfback slip screen. He doesn't play too well and hit my halfback late. He misses the tackle and I get tackled for a five yard gain. Right now I'm driving down on Syracuse. He ain't doing too well on defense. But however, he got me in another third down situation. I have to convert this. And what do I do? I hit my halfback, but he ends up dropping the ball. Maybe I had somebody else open, but I got Stevie Wonder read, so I didn't really look. Kick my field goal here to go up three early, and there's nothing wrong with taking your points. Now he's back on offense. Time ticking down. He finally hikes the ball. He breaks one tackle, two tackles, three tackles, and finally gets tackled for a four-yard game. And I mean, that's the story of this running back's life. He breaks all them tackles just to go fucking nowhere. What a bump. Here on second down, he decides to pass, and he hits that curl route for the first. After that first down, I knew I had to dial up the coverage, so I make a quick defensive adjustment, and here he passes again, and he throws a pretty risky pass that should have been intercepted, but we drop the ball. Now it's second down, and I know again that he's going to try to pass, so I play in that max coverage and hoping I can get a stop, but he ends up hitting a pretty decent curl route for a good gain of yards. Now it's third down for him again, and I need another crucial third down stop. I'm playing that man defense with a couple of adjustments, and he throws a dot to the defense as I intercepted, and I try to get loose, but my player ends up turning around. 
after getting that interception, I started feeling good about this game. That's why running back does a little juke juke to get up that field with bad intentions as he gets the first down. My running back was toting that rock all night, but I decided to take a little break and pass on first and ten. I roll out right, looking, looking, looking. I finally fire, and my running back drops the ball in the end zone. That was a pretty crucial drop. At second and ten, I didn't do much. So on third and ten, I'm looking for something, but I get a whole bunch of black men in my face. Hey, yo, what the fuck? On fourth and ten, I decided to take this long field goal, and Stonehouse gets it by the skin of his ball sack. Get, man, pause the video. Pause what? the video. Yeah, what seems to be the problem, bro? All right, dude, you got to chill out with that such shit, all right? Come on, bro. Man, I have no idea what you're talking about. The viewer's trying to watch the video, bro. All right, bro, whatever you say, man. Sorry about that back there. That nigga tripping. But on first and 10, he decides to run that ball and gets absolutely pop on my defensive end. Into the second quarter, it is second and nine. He decides to go to the air and try to pass that ball, and he gets a wide open receiver for a decent gain of yards for going out of bounds. Now it's third and four, and I'm trying to get another crucial third down stop as I'm playing that max coverage, making my defensive adjustments to make sure he doesn't get this pass off. I use her over the middle, he throws it right to my user for another interception. So I got the ball back again on offense, and I hit him with a halfback screen, but this time he sniffs it out, and I ended up getting tackled for loss. That was some pretty good defense. So on second and 14, I decided to go to the air again and call something a little bit more traditional as I roll out to the right and throw this absolute dot while getting hit. I know he didn't like that one bit. I mean, he's already down, and his defense is giving up some big plays. So right here, I sniff out his defense, and I audible to another play making sure to make my hot routes and adjustments so keep him on his toes. And right here, I throw a dot across the middle as I get hit again for a big 80 yards. I'm in the red zone and I can practically smell that box as I give this ball to my running back. He does a little juke juke and get up that field with bad intentions. I mean, he almost got loose for six. Now on second down, I decided to just call a simple play, but I saw he was not covering my tight end, so I hit the quick dot for the touchdown. This shit too easy. Now he has the ball back. He's down two possessions, back against the wall. So what does he decide to do? Give it to his sorry ass running back who actually gets a half decent gain of yards. Well, his running back ain't that sorry. Just in this game he is, <laughs> shit. On second down, he decides to go to the air, which hasn't been helping him out too much. And right here, he throws a dot to the defense, but I dropped the ball. It's third down again, and it hasn't been treating him too well these third downs, so he dials up a quick dot as he sees I was in man coverage for the first. After giving up that third down, I wanted to get a stop. So right here on the jet sweep, I told my defense to rally that ball, and you can see the relentless effort by my defensive line. On second and long, I knew he was going to pass that ball, so I swap into a little bit of a man defense to throw him off his game. He throws it right to my defense for another interception. After that stop from my defense, I was feeling confident about winning this game, as on first and ten, I give the ball to my running back, and he gets a pretty good gain of yards. Here on second and short, I saw he stacking the box, so I audible to a quick pass play in order to throw this dot and get the first down, but I end up throwing some shit as my receiver comes back for the ball ends up turning the second and three into a third and long. Now that it's third and long, I dial up a quick dot in order to get the first down. And as you can see, there's a little bit of laundry on the field. And what was the call? You guessed it, roughing the passer. With these new rules, this shit gets called like every other game. After that penalty, it was now 1st and 10 on the opponent's 33-yard line. I give that ball to my running back who gets a decent gain of yards. My offense is electric. It's looking really potent as here on 2nd and 6, I try to get the ball back to my running back who hits a crazy spin move, gets caught up in some trash, but somehow gets loose and gets up out of it almost for a first down. I honestly don't know how he got up out of that one, but on 3rd down, I hit this little trail route for my tight end to get the first down. So far... My offense is looking good, and we driving down that field. However, he did get a little stop on first down, so now it's second and long, and I need to conjure up a dot. But instead of conjuring up a dot, I just get a whole bunch of black men in my face, so I had to throw it away. If there's anything good I can't say about his defense is that they were getting to that quarterback pretty quick. As on third and long, I try to dial up another dot from hell, but I end up throwing an interception from heaven as he picks the ball off. 
However, him picking that ball off was too good, as he's right in the shadow of his own goalpost. He calls a quick little run play and ends up diving for one yard for some reason. After that sort of kind of embarrassing play from his running back, he gives it right back to his running back, and he actually makes up for it by getting a good gain of yards. However, with six seconds left going into halftime, he didn't really do much. And since I got ball at half, I decided to keep this thing on the ground. But once I saw that line shift, I knew I had to call a quick little pass play to keep him on his toes. I went to the play action and threw this mega dot to the outside for the first down. I told you my tight end was having a big game. But back to this run game, I give it right back to my running back. He makes a little juke juke to the outside and almost got loose for six. I felt unstoppable. There wasn't anything I couldn't do on offense. I call a little run play, but once I saw him kind of shift a little bit with that DN, I decided to audible to a pass play. However, it did kind of get clamped up, so I decided to roll out left my quarterback, and as you can see, he got those wheels, and he almost got loose for the first down. Here, you already know who the ball's going to. One of my running backs, and Let's he goes go. into that box for six. As you can tell, I was pretty fired up, and now I give the ball back to his offense who hasn't been doing anything all game. But finally, he decides to throw a little bit of a dot across the middle for a decent gain of yards. On second and four, he opts to pass, and he just dumps it off to his receiver for a decent little gain and the first down. I honestly wanted to shut out this game, so I made sure to make all the defensive adjustments I could in order to make sure he don't put up no points on that board. But right here, he kills us over the middle and gets that first down. I knew that the only place he could really go was to the middle or to the outside, so I decided to call man defense, but instead he ran the ball. Sit he down, bitch. For my linebacker. After that big hit on his running back, he decided to take it to the air in order to get this first down. However, I sent a little bit of pressure, and my D-line ended up sacking him. We were getting to that ball into that quarterback with bad intentions. It's now on third and long. He decides to go to the air again, and he knows he has to convert this if he has any chance of getting into this game. However, he ended up throwing to his running back, and his running back went right out of bounds. Back on offense again, and you already know I'm going to run that rock, but this time he sent a little bit of heat, so I didn't get that much on the ground. After getting just two yards on the ground, I decided to go to the air, as right here I throw a quick little dot in order to get the first down. Now it's first and 10 and my options are open, so you know what that means. I'm going to run that Damn. ball, and I got a seam up the middle, but I get tackled. Here on second down, I knew that I needed to make something happen, so I threw it to a big-time player who made a big-time play by Ooh, breaking boy. this tackle, getting loose, 30, 20, Y'all niggas ain't 10, catching me. he might go Give for up. six, touchdown, zoo. After that big touchdown, this game was out of reach. That's right here. He throws a little dot across the middle, but there was nothing he could do at this point. Buddy was just in the game playing on autopilot. He wasn't really doing too much on offense. It's right here. He motions the receiver and gives the ball to the running back, but he gets fucking popped. Second and eight, you already know. He's going to try to go to that air to pick up the first down. He calls a couple little hot routes right here and almost gets that first down, but we got a lucky breakup. It's starting long. I already know he's trying to pass, so I play mass coverage, but somehow, some way, my defensive line gets that pressure and gets to that QB. He had to punt the ball back, so now it's back on offense for me, and somehow, he got a little bit of pressure from his defensive line. Like I said earlier, there's one good thing I can say about his defense is that he got to that QB. It's right here. I try to throw a mega dot, but instead, I throw a mega pick, and now he's right back in this game, but not really, though. I made a Stevie Wonder read and gave him the ball back in great territory, as right here he runs the ball, but instead gets tackled for loss. It's been a long day for this running back, and that's because my defensive line has been getting that pressure. On second and long, he hits a little curl route for a good gain of yards. He's having half-decent success in the air, and if it wasn't for those three interceptions, he actually might be winning this game. But here on third and short, you already know he's going to pass that ball, so what do I do? Play excellent coverage defense, and he almost throws a dot right to the defense he ended up taking his three and to me that was a sign of defeat i done took away this man's entire confidence as i get a good gain of yards it is on the now ground. third and three and right here i just hit a little mega dot to my tight end in order to get that first i go down that sideline i give him a quick little stiff arm before i get tackled on first down i didn't do too much so on second down i decided to fake him out by going into a heavy set and end up passing that ball i'm down that sideline i hit a little spin move before i get tackled after that big play you already know i'm trying to make bigger plays i motion out my receiver in order to block for my running back and he makes a quick little juke move and almost got loose for six 
on third and eight, I could practically smell that box. And boy, does it stink. As right here, I get in that end zone. On offense, he ain't really do too much after I score that touchdown. Like I said, just a demoralizing effort by his defense. As right here, he tries to throw a quick dot, but he ends up throwing it right to my user. And that's pretty much the game. At this point in the game, I would just run the ball out, but I just wanted to try some new shit, see if this play works. So I roll out to the right and end up throwing a mega laser across the middle for six. Now, I know, I know that wasn't really that respectful to the opponent, but it's all love from here. Here are the stats for the game. As you can see, I had hella yards through the air. I had a decent gain of yards on the ground. And you already know that my receivers were killing it, especially my tight end. As you can see right there, he had a good game. And we also had a good game defensively, getting five interceptions in total with my middle linebacker getting two of them. And you already know. Him being 6'7", you cannot throw that ball anywhere near. The way that shit panning out, he might be a defensive Heisman one of these days. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Appreciate the support from you guys. Until next time, peace.